I'm very positive about the, the conference this year because not only it's the usual way to discuss uh, issues of mutual interest uh, for all the postal operators uh, together with my other CEO colleagues, but also because of the theme of the conference itself and uh, big data, e-commerce, uh, managing the database and all the information that we can collect from our customers is a, a challenge that all of us, I think, have a lot of work to do. And so discussing it and seeing new ideas and new ways of operating is positive. The, the main opportunity is to uh, work on the data that we can have. Uh, and I say can have because most of our business uh, Typically, we would not treat the data that comes through us, uh, goes through us, but we would not collect it, analyze it, and use it for different business ventures. And that's exactly what is changing all this issue of the e-commerce and the interconnect and um, uh, working with information that we have to speed up the processes, to upgrade the customer experience and also to upgrade our capacity of designing offers for uh, the population in general, which in the end is our customer base. Yes, in fact we are promoting direct mail since uh, a couple of years already. Uh, Portugal has historically lagged behind other countries in terms of the proportion or, or the, the the presence of direct mail in, the, in our business in general. And we decided to change that and to catch up with other countries. And so we started some ventures uh, to work in the usual tools and to show, uh, to highlight to everyone and uh, what market research says that is exactly what you said. Uh, I.e. that uh, even the most uh, digitalized type of population, they trust physical means for some things and the impact of a direct mail is bigger uh, if it's physical than just the internet one. E-commerce is growing very fast and it is growing very fast in uh, all the world. Some countries are more advanced meaning with a higher penetration rate in the uh, purchases through the internet means. Uh, other are lagging behind, but the ones that are lagging behind just have, like is the case of Portugal, uh, that just mean that we have a bigger opportunity. It's because the catching up will happen for sure, and the growth as a whole will happen because that's the way the world is changing, and that's the trend in the world. People are more and more in the digital environment, and they want to have convenience and to buy with a convenient way. And to have convenience, the physical has to catch up. If we, you are linked by digital, then someone has to provide the physical part of the business. And that's exactly what we uh, postal operators, especially in the last mile, we are the best advantage companies to do that. We go through all streets of each of our countries every uh, Labor Day, and we know the people, we are trusted, and we are interlinked. And that's exactly where IPC enters to upgrade and reinforce the linkage between the different postal operators. Uh, it's a very important step because like that, we can offer a more integrated uh, with higher service in terms of returns, in terms of information, in terms even of speed. And um, when things get better in operational terms, then also the costs are lower. And if the costs are lower, we can pass uh, that advantage also to the customers. Um, and the consumers because we can be more competitive in pricing. The, the, biggest, uh, the biggest challenge is to cope with uh, continuing to being successful in this big transformation of our business nature from letters to something else. Specifically when you go to e-commerce and parcels, uh, there the, the challenge is to have flexible offers that are competitive and that can offer the service quality and uh, the features that customers are more and more demanding. And if you don't do it, some attackers will do it and will lose that part of the, the market. And so we, we have the, the best starting point but we have to be flexible, aggressive, and think out of the box to be sure that we can cope with a different reality that is happening around us.